metal cans can be really tough to chew, so I like to use a can opener to get to the food inside. Luckily, Adam's here, and he's going to tell me which can opener is going to help me the most. <laughs> we have two basic types of can openers. In front of you, these four are the traditional can openers. Right. These three are safety can openers. Now, the traditional ones, everyone knows how to use this. It's got the cutting wheel that mounts to the can from the top. You can hear when it's connected. You just turn the handle. Off it comes. You're good to go. Sure. However, the lid has sort of a sharp edge sure. because it's been cut off of the lip. The safety can openers, the cutting wheel attaches from the side mm. and you crank it around and then the entire lid, including the lip, comes off. So that's your safety lid. There's no mm. sharp edges. We tested seven different can openers. The price range was a low of $8 to this is a $55 can opener. Think of all the tuna you can buy with that. <laughs> it's incredible. We had a squad of testers open at least 20 cans, ranging from small six ounce cans of tomato paste to test them on tight curves, beans and tuna for medium curves, and then 28 ounce cans of tomatoes for the wider, gentler curves. And they were assessing how easy these can openers were to attach, operate, and detach. And frankly, the ease of operation was more important to them than the edge of the lid. Sure. You know, if you're careful with a regular lid, you won't cut yourself. Well, exactly. And if the wrong can opener, you can't even get inside. Exactly. You have to start gnawing through again. <laughs> Some of these safety openers were not intuitive. It was sort of hard to tell when a safety opener was attached. Because when you put a regular traditional opener on and you click it into place, you can Feel that click, you can hear the air you know escape, it. you can see that the cutting wheel is attached, you're good to go. With these safety openers, the cutting wheel, the view is blocked, so you don't always know, and it doesn't have that puncture, so you don't really know that it's attached, and Anything that was the problem. Happening. Now, I want you to try this. That's a dupe of this guy right here. Try opening that can with, with that one. All right. Uh, I, I can tell you I live in fear of this type <laughs> because it is... I'm, there you I'm go. not even sure. Maybe that, I don't know. All right, so yeah, that see, one, nothing's happening. Yeah, you can tell that's not intuitive. Another problem with the safety can openers is the testers noticed every now and then when they pulled the lid off, they would see these yellow strings of glue coming off, probably from the label. Oh. Never got into the food, but really, why risk it? Sure. In terms of ease of operation, you can see that these handles on the top, which you turn to open the can, those are called the driving handles. There were different styles, different shapes, different materials. None of them were uncomfortable for any of the testers, but one of them was great. And it was this one because it was the longest one. It was three and a half inches, so it was really smooth and easy to turn. Good leverage there. And in fact, this is our winning yeah. can opener. This is the Easy Does It can opener, traditional style, about $10. Anyone can pick it up, open a can, no gnawing required, no lessons required. No embarrassment. <laughs> There you go. Our winner was the Easy Does It can opener, and it's $10. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>